What it do, what it do, it's your boy girl with Mike. We are here at a first location for the San Francisco sandwich hunt. I was gonna say burger hunt, sandwich hunt. San Francisco sandwich hunt. We're looking for the best sandwiches. Now I'm not gonna rate them from, you know, one to three or one to five, whatever it is. I'm gonna just go find the best ones and I'm gonna go to a lot of spots that I haven't been to. So the first spot that we're going to is Luca. It's here in the marina over here near Lombard. It's a little deli in the marina. It's been here since 1929. So we're gonna see what it do. Come on, let's get it. Good morning, good morning. It's a nice, beautiful Sunday morning in the city. Uh, we are here at our first location. I know y'all probably like this, not Luca, this super duper, but I did buy orange juice to sit here, so they don't say nothing. We got ourselves the Italian combo. Italian combo looks like it comes with like salami. It comes with, it's like a lot of shit in here. Like I said, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put everything on here. First bite. Hold on, let me get another one. You can tell everything in here is very fresh. Everything in here is, it's a cold sandwich, so you could just taste the freshness of all the ingredients that are in here. The meats are nicely cut. You can tell there's a lot of quality in them. This is a well-balanced uh, sandwich. Um, this is like a sandwich I would get on my lunch. If I'm at work, I'm in the area. Or just to go grab and bring it to a picnic or something. I love the peppers on here. The peppers give it a nice, nice flavor touch to it. Mm-hmm. Solid sandwich. Very refreshing, very clean, and uh, it's no tricks, no games. It's kind of like straightforward. And I also asked them, you know, I seen they had deviled egg. You know, I fuck with deviled egg. I seen it there, it was just looking real lovely. So I definitely had to go get some of this. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, I got like some sort of seasoning on there. I don't know what that is. It has like a little kick to it. Slight kick. All right, y'all. So I had to do a voiceover here because the guy who parked next to me had his windows down and he was blasting some music and it's like very clear on the audio. So I'm not trying to get a copyright claim. So with that being said, we got the potato salad um they said this they're known for the potato salad so i definitely had to try it um to be honestly it was regular um it didn't have no flavor it didn't have no kick to it it didn't have no it just really tasted really really really, really plain like no salt no pepper um i just gotta be honest you know i mean if it, this was at a picnic or a party perfect because everything else would bring the flavor this would just be filler but um would i get this again um probably not i probably wouldn't get the potato salad again i gotta just be honest with you now the deviled egg oh for sure i love the deviled egg it was perfect it had a little spice to it a little kick to it and the sandwich i mean i mean come on look at this bite i had to take the tomato out because i don't really fuck with tomatoes 
but that bite right there had all the peppers it was a well-balanced sandwich i would definitely get it again and uh i guess we're off to our next spot let's get it grub with mike hit that like and subscribe button yee yo 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 what it do what it do it's your boy girl with mike we are here at our second location and i did not expect this though. i know this spot is going crazy i know burner did a sandwich with them and y'all yeah, just look at this line check it out i'm the last one in line and i'm not too sure how long it's gonna take you guys know me i i don't like no lines if you know me you know me i hate waiting in line but i guess we're gonna have to do it today um i really want to offer somebody if i could cut them Give them like 20 bucks or something, buy them a sandwich. But um, we're going to see what to do. We're here at Deli Board. We're going to see what to do. Uh, I'm probably going to order a burner sandwich or I could get another one. I'm not exactly too sure, but we, we shall see right now and see how long it takes. But I'm going to update you guys in a second. Yee! We made it. We made it. What's up, boss? How you doing? Um, so this is my first time here, but I think I know what I want. The Bradley looks really good, but is there anything else that you think is better than? What, what, what do you? This is my first time. What do you think I should have for my first time? Bradley? Let me get the Bradley. I get the Bradley. One of the kings here. Yeah. Bradley's a king here. There we go. anything that's a king here. And then could I to get a? Uh, I'll take a Coke. Coke? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. Uh, no, I'm good. I, I'm going to like three other sandwich spots today, so I already went to one already. So yeah. yeah. What it do, what it do, what it do, man. We are here at our second location in San Francisco for the San Francisco Sandwich Hunt. Uh, we are here at Deli Board SF, right here on Folsom, near downtown. We got ourselves the Bradley. This shit looking crazy. Crazy. So it got pastrami, corned beef. Uh, we got cheese on there. It got pickles and all that shit. So we're going to see what to do right now. It's like a smaller sandwich compared to other sandwich spots I went to. But it looks like very good quality. And we're going to see right now. And I'm eating this shit right out front too. So we're going to see. Fuck. That shit was... That first bite. Amazing. Um... The meat is very rich. You can really taste the flavors of all the meats. The corned beef, the pastrami. Wow, let me just get another bite of that. It just really tastes fresh. Like they freshly sliced. Everything tastes really, really good. I like the corned beef and pastrami mix on here. It's a very nice mix. It's just very distinct taste. It's hella good. The roll is very soft. It's not too toasty. It's more on the softer, fluffy side. Mm. I can't believe I've been here 10 years in my first time. That's crazy. I really want to try all the other sandwiches, but this is, wow. Look at that. Strong, just hanging out, corned beef. Mm. Got jalapenos in there, gives it a little kick. Yeah, this, this sandwich was uh, $22. Was it expensive? Fuck yeah, it's expensive. Is it worth it? Hell yeah. The line, worth it too. Lisa? Belly board, I fuck with y'all. Girl with Mike approved. Let's get it. Hey man. Third spot, third location. 
I know you've seen this cloudy as hell over here. It looks very different. You know, where I was at was in the marina and also downtown, so it was very sunny over there. When you get on this side towards West Portal, towards the avenues, like Stonestown and all that shit, it gets hella more cloudier. But we had the third location. We're going to Submarine Center. It's going to be lit. This is a legendary spot that all my boys and homies and family have been going to for a long time. So we're going to see what it do. But I don't know about y'all. All you YouTubers, Mark Weens, and all you guys, you guys go crazy. I give it to you guys. You guys got your stomach trained. Let me see if I'm recording. Am I recording? Am I recording? Yes, I am. But yeah, you guys got your stomach trained or, or something. I don't know, but I got to smoke in between these. I can't do three spots in a row without smoking and then go to another spot and have an appetite. Like, this would do. Yeah. We are here at the Submarine Center. I haven't been here maybe like two, three years since my boy Mayu came out from Dubai and he loves this spot right here. So we're gonna see what it do right now. And then look, look at this, look who you see on the wall. We see Sway and King Tech, look at that, that's 2006. do it's your boy girl but mike we are here at our third location you feel me i had to go take a little smoke break in order to dive into my third sandwich of the day uh, we got one more spot after this but we are here at west portal we are here at submarine center you feel me 820 how you say that street yeah but all the homies all my partners and my family have been going here for a very long time you know, I, I will have to say more so my the homies been here. They put me onto this spot. And it's crazy because uh, my youth, which is the homie from Dubai, you know, he went to school out here for uh, at SF State and graduated. But even when he came back here, one of the first spots he touched down to was Submarine. I actually met him back here, I think, two, three years ago. I parked right up the street, and he was already eating a Submarine sandwich. Didn't even wait for me or whatever. But, yeah, shout out my boy Mayu. But, uh, yeah, we are here. We got the pastrami submarine. We got ourselves a center size. I didn't get the super, I didn't get the mini, but it got pastrami, it got avocado, um, lettuce, onions, mayonnaise. Seems like it got mustard on there. I did everything, no tomatoes. I don't fuck with tomatoes. Tomatoes, to me, make it seem like more watery. And uh, it's hella funny because all these people inside are hella staring at me and this is not <laughs> the restaurant that I, that I bought the sandwich from. So yeah, so boom, check that out. That look fire as fuck. All right, let's just give it a go. We're going to go for straight bite. Uh, 71. My bad, bro. Oh, you? No? No. Uh, <laughs> he was about to give me some lemonade for free. I should have took it. You mean like 71? Yep. Damn. Hey, yo. That first bite was really amazing. Um, the pastrami... It's very good. It's very thinly sliced compared to the other spots that I went to. Well, actually, no. The last spot was very uh, thin, but that was like more shredded. This one's actually more like more slices. It's very thin. I'm gonna take another bite. So, this one is really, really like a lighter uh, flavor not not weak but like it's not as strong as the last two sandwiches like the other ones were just like very strong and rich 
This right here has a very good balance. It's like a really, like you could taste all the lettuce, avocado, onions, mayonnaise with it, and it doesn't overpower the pastrami. Nicely well balanced. The other ones are well balanced too, but like having two sandwiches prior to this, this one has more of a lighter, like, I don't know how to explain it. I, I'm probably saying this wrong. You guys are probably taking it. I don't, I don't fucking know. Maybe I'm high. Mmm. That's what it is. The pastrami at Deli Board is very rich. The pastrami here is just more subtle. Um, really good. And the pastrami sandwich that I had earlier was mixed with other meats. And it didn't have no veggies at all. Except a jalapeno. This you can never go wrong. This is lovely. And and everything else in here is light. This feels like a lighter sandwich. Mm-hmm. Now, if you were in the homies, one of my followers or anything that goes to Submarine, make a thumbs up, man. Drop some comments down below. Hit me with some emojis. And uh, who can guess what next spot I'm going to? Now, this isn't the best top four sandwich spots of San Francisco, even though I, I do believe some of them belong in that category, but I won't say who. Be like, even if you're not from the city, like my cousins from New Jersey knew about this spot and they used to just come visit us. You know, my cousin stayed in the city. I always used to visit them every weekend and shit like that. And like one of the spots that we would go to back then in high school, you know, when he was going to Mission High, what up, Lip? Hey, if y'all want Lip to be in the video, Comment, Lip be in the next video. Cause Lip, you know, he, he he don't like being in front of the camera. He more, you know, behind the scenes and all that. So, and I understand cause I, I'm like that too, but now I'm not, you know what I'm saying? This is new to me. But uh, yeah, Lip used to go here uh, to, to this spot that I'm about to go to next a lot of the times. A lot of the homies, I went here when in college, when I went to City College real quick, only lasted like a semester or two, maybe a semester and a half. But yeah, we gonna get it, yeah. your boy grub and mike we are here at our fourth and final location for the san francisco sandwich hunt part one we're gonna have part two part three part four if y'all want it man so there's a lot more sandwiches than the four spots that i picked this right here is a legendary spot this is roxy's man if you don't know about roxy's it's across the street from balboa swimming pool it's right over here not too far from uh stones town mall um what's over here ccsf and all that shit you know what i'm saying uh yeah let's get it though we got ourselves the meatball joint. Yes, sir. Let me put one half here so this shit don't be flying everywhere. The reason why I got meatball joints because I just had too much pastrami today and too much of the same kind of sandwiches. You know, all pork, really, and beef. I wanted to get me a meatball sandwich. So, Roxy's is a legendary spot. My cousin Lip used to go here all the time. My cousin Gabby used to go here all the time. When I went to uh, City College for a very short period of time, I used to come here a lot. Always used to get the pastrami, Dutch crunch, pepper jack cheese, everything, no tomatoes, toasted real nice, and uh, add jalapenos to it. My cousin Renee even worked here at a point in time. He was doing sandwiches, and before that, he was doing cashier, sweeping, and shit like that. So we're going to get to it, man. Let's get it. I haven't had the meatball sandwich in a long time. That's busting. Even though I feel like these meatballs ain't homemade, it's busting. The cheese, the sauce. Y'all seen the provolone cheese pull on that? I think this was a perfect way to end the sandwich stunt. In San Francisco very different from all the sandwiches that I had very refreshing to like change the taste change the flavors you know there's so many different kinds of sandwiches here in San Francisco and Roxy's is not really known for the meatball sandwiches um but I just wanted to try something different and I'm glad I picked this one I, I don't think I've ever had yeah I did I've had a meatball sandwich here a couple times um 
This was really good. I can't believe I, I got this one because I thought I was going to get pastrami like I usually do. I love this one. I ain't going to lie. It's on a nice soft roll. Nothing but a little bit of onions. That's it. Other than the sauce, cheese, and meatball, that's all you need. Mm-hmm. Mm, napkin. Yeah, man. Now, y'all tell me. Y'all be the judge. Baja Blast. I don't even know it matches the outfit. You heard? Yo. Y'all tell me. Do you guys think Roxy's is the same as it was 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago? Y'all tell me. Roxy's used to be my number one spot for sandwiches in 2008 and nine. Y'all yeah, probably gonna think I'm old as hell, but I graduated 07. I remember after high school, I moved with my cousin, my auntie, and my uncle, and I used to go here a lot. Number one. Now, you know, I don't know if it's because we're getting older and our taste buds and palates are changing. I don't know if it's because of different owners. This is not just Rocky, it's just everywhere. There's a lot of spots that I used to go to back in the day that I swore on and I swear it's good. Then I tried again myself and it's just not the same. The only thing's the same is the nostalgic feeling that it gives. So so put that the nostalgic feeling to the side and just give a real judgment of the food. Cause I don't know if it was COVID. I don't know if it's because I don't know the inflation on certain prices on ingredients. I don't know if it's because, like I said, we're just getting old or our palates are changing, but there's a lot of spots that I that aren't as smacking as the way once were. And I'm not going to name them. And I'm not saying Roxy's one of them. Well, Roxy's, it's good still. This one's smacking. I haven't had Roxy's in a while. But Roxy's, to me, back in the day, was just number one. There was no competitor. It was smacking every time. As of late, the couple years, there's been, like, hit or miss. Um, but, I mean, that, that's, you know, that's a giver. That's a giving. You know, they get busy. You know, they get tired and stuff like that. Or might be have a bad day or something like that. But... Roxy's meatball sandwich and Roxy's pastrami, you cannot go wrong with at all. Let me get one bite of this. Mm -hmm. Yo, shout out to all my viewers. Shout out to all my followers on Instagram, YouTube. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Whether y'all friends, family, or just online friends, I fuck with y'all. Thank you guys. You guys showed me so much love. You know, my Hawaii video got 16K and counting, and I only dropped that three weeks ago. My highest viewed video was in Portland. That was a couple videos ago, and that only got 9.1K views, and that dropped seven months ago. So I appreciate you guys. Keep running it up. This one was by request. I put up chicken wings or sandwich, and you guys picked best sandwich spot in San Francisco, so I'm giving it to y'all. I hope you guys like the content. I'm trying to get comfortable in front of the camera. I know I put like a little wall up and I, I'm not 100% myself, but when there's other people there and guests, I could be more comfortable, but it's just still new to me. I'm used to being behind the scenes, uh, excuse me, and like I get shy and nervous when people are staring at me and shit like that. I'm by myself. I got the mic on, got my iPhone on, you got a real camera. They're probably like, who is it? I don't give a fuck. Anyways, I'm ready to roll another blunt. Y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Drop some comments on what you like, what spots should I go to, am I capping, or is this spot that I'm going to smacking? And yeah, let's get it, man. Grow with Mike, there's going to be a lot more. Let's get it. Yeah.